Okay, so in today's video, um, we're going to show basically how to, to call a couple of screens and stuff, how to start your, your HMI client, and what the, uh, the startup macro is all about. And basically, uh, when, you, when you go to, and this, this is all derived from like, and I'll show you real quick, um, like if we were to make a new, new uh, client, let's just say new new client right nothing special uh, we want to make sure we check the right application and to get straight to the point of what we're doing uh, to make this kind of quick is we want to come down and, and right here and some most applications you see especially in ME um, you'll have initial display um, and basically we you know we tend not to do that uh, obviously in uh, in SE or side edition it's because of the fact that we have so much things that we're trying to do we're trying to basically build a, a nice front-end system and what happens is uh, so you, you have what they call you, you can use initial displays if you want you can use uh, disp display parameters or you can use uh, the client keys and client keys we, we often use for um, like shutting down or something like a combination of different keys and we can do that too we can make client keys over here I'll show you how to do that um, but the startup uh, the startup macro is really what's important so right here is your startup macro and that's where we would use that and so let's go ahead and look at that startup macro so in the startup macro you pull it up uh, first off they have an abort so they're basically trying to clear the, the screen and then what they're saying is the next instance they're saying they want to display they want to display the, the P7 header which is the P7 header right so they want to display this screen and they want to display that in that position and so the next one they want to the display is the P7 footer. So they want to display the, the P7 footer in the uh, below the, well, hold on. I, I, I typed that a little, or I, I clicked that a little too, too quick. Um, next, they want to display the, uh, the P7, uh, the V button bar. So if you look at that, let's see. I have to find that P7 V button bar and so that's uh, the sidebar that they have over there so essentially what they're doing is you know when you're calling these up you're building your screen right and then then they want to pull up basically the overall or the what they're calling the OV uh, test bed so we'll, we'll go ahead and look at that So at this point, they're they're pulling up, or they're saying they're they're gonna, they're going to pull up that. But what might happen, being that there is no location for that, is it's not pulling up, because when when we do the client, obviously, it, I'm not sure if that screen pulls up the first. It should. Let's see. Let's do the OB test bed. This should be the next screen that fits in the center and, and fits in all, all the equation right there. And then they want to define the, the fixed screen as, uh, sample. So if you look at the macro, that's how it starts up. So if you wanted to see a client start, what we'll, we'll do is we'll clear this down here. And I'll show you exactly how, when a client starts, you'll see all this stuff happen. So we'll come down and we'll basically start our client. We'll click OK. And as it logs in and starts, you'll see all this stuff happen. Because what we do is we we call the uh, call the macro. And as soon as the macro calls, starts calling each equation or each uh, function, then all this will start taking place. 
and we'll, it may overlap so no worries we'll come back and look at the uh, diagnostics it's not a big deal so at this point it should be displaying everything and it does it pulls up uh, that screen as well so real quick let's pull this let's pull this up right here and open the diagnostics and you can see exactly what it did <coughs> Okay, so the first thing it did, right, is it called the sample macro client, which is the macro that we had. Um, then it said display could not be opened. Uh, basically, the first thing that happened was it aborted everything. It displayed the uh, header, which was the header up here. It displayed the but of course it had a VB code problem. That may be because I didn't, uh, I haven't set up all that. So, and the second thing that happened is it displayed the footer, which is down here. Now the next thing that happened is it displayed the sidebar, right? And then after the sidebar, sidebar came up, it displayed the the screen right here. So as, and then it defined the fixed screen uh, sample. So we may need to look at the, uh, the position of this to try to get the full screen. Um, and I'll probably go ahead, let's, let's go ahead and put this back. And actually let's resize that. So don't take up too much screen. Okay, so what we may do, being that we know that this screen is being pulled up the OV test screen All right so what's probably happening here is it's not set properly so let's go ahead and do that so let's look at the displays and then we'll put, it says replace, uh, it says specified size, um, allow display to resize, that may do it, I believe that will do it. <clears throat> yeah, but use the current size, it doesn't matter because if you use current size it's going to default to what you have in here anyway. So. What you can do is, is like I said, uh, specified. It says specified location, use current position, um, and then just allow the, the display to resize. So, real quick, we'll put this back because I did move that to get to the back plane, and then we'll come back and restart. Let's see. Let's go ahead and stop that. We don't have any client keys, so we can set up some client keys to begin with, too. Uh, but what I'd like to do is cancel this out. So let's do the client keys real quick so that we don't have to do that anymore. We won't actually be able to shut down. Um, so Let's go into client keys, create new, and so whatever key you want to push, like for instance, like say if we wanted to control, uh, <clears throat> say we wanted to, to have uh, certain functions, um, let's just do uh, Let's just do uh, enter and then you want to have uh, basically you can have an exit so we, we could put a put a board uh, let's see app start um, app abort so close all windows um, you can do 
just about anything you want um, as far as that goes. Um, it's basically you know shut down. Uh, so you, you basically want to shut down uh, the application. And I want to say that it's graphics, navigation, it's not display. So you want you want to shut down the actual you want to shut down that the app I believe it is. Just bear with me real quick. I'm just going through and trying to find exactly what I want. Um, let's just put that title. No, that's not what I want. Um, we'll come back and we'll we'll put in the uh, the client keys later <clears throat> because I I don't want to tie up too much time on this video. So I'll, I'll do another video on the client keys. Um, like I said, I just wanted to go over how this this basically this app starts. Um, so in this uh, scenario right here, let's back out of this. I just wanted to show you how this actually does uh, work. So again, we have the abort, which is aborting everything. We have the display, which is displaying the header, right? We have the display that is made for the footer, which is made for this footer down here. And then we have the sidebar, which is made for the sidebar. And then we're opening this dis display right here. So real quick, we, we did make a change to the uh, that screen, the uh, <coughs> OB test bed. Let's just see if the, uh, the change made it center the, the, the screen up. Essentially, it, it should have made it fit exactly like it should instead of having to overlay the um, a top header. Okay, so you see the way that didn't over overlay the top header anymore and the last time it overlaid the top header now there's still some options we can do to get it full screen but the reason it's not full screen right now is because this app <clears throat> I don't believe this app is uh the same pixels as what I'm currently running on my <clears throat> running on the computer so um, just to kind of clarify you know we did call the header first we called the footer we called the sidebar and then we called the main screen and we did that in order to make sure we had the proper footing, our proper uh, dimensions up top, the proper dimensions below, proper dimensions we wanted on the side, and then we we allowed this to open up to the dimensions that were already specified. So if we change screens, see how that screen overlays now? So a lot of these screens will have to be fixed to get it to work correctly with the header. And I'm not sure where that original screen was, so let's back up. So a lot of the screens should be come. We should come back and, and kind of edit the, the screens to kind of get them to, to work correctly with the header. Um, obviously, you seen when I jumped around to a different screen, it overlaid up here. Uh, obviously, that's not what we want. So it could be the fact that the, the backs. Uh, all the screens are, are not just not set right as far as resizing to maximum. You know, as far as that goes, I think it's what we you know we changed on this that uh, OB screen. So let's look at that real quick. And allow the screen to uh, basically you can you can put it at scale. And let's see that. Let's see what that does. The scale should actually take it to 
scale should actually take it to the full width. So it only comes back as the uh, so I, I believe that's a Windows thing as far as my uh, the current pixel size and stuff I'm running is not just a, a, a 10 1024. It's a lot higher. It's like a 1920 or something. Um, but to, to kind of get back to the, the point I was getting at with the macro, uh, basically that that's what happens with the macro, right? So that's why we use the macro instead of just calling for an initial display because you actually get the custom layout you want. And really that that's, that's what you want. So if you wanted to change any one of these, you could change it to any one of these screens you wanted to. Uh, just note that the screen has to be made to fit whatever application you're doing, right? So this is custom fit for the top, this is custom fit for the side, this is custom fit for the bottom, and you know it just it just works out that way that it, it lays out exactly the way it's uh, user friendly and it's more applicable. So, uh, but I just wanted to, to lay out, you know, to stress the fact of why we use macros on SE and how to use an SE uh, macro. And it does say that this right here is for a uh, a 1280 by by one 124. So that's probably what what is going on with the uh, the issue here. Uh, you know, because I'm I'm, not, I'm running a higher a lot higher resolution than that. So uh, again, uh, well, you know, we're past the, the 15 minute mark. So I just wanted to kind of go over the the way we use or the reason we use a macro. And uh, again, hopefully you learned something from that. Hopefully it, it helped you out. On finding what you should be putting into uh, when you create a client and uh, even if you had to make one you know if you had to just sit here and, and uh, make it you know that's basically your layout right there you know um, it, D top D bottom uh, D left so just know that the, uh, this indication right here uh, backslash D uh, if you put T that's top um, you, know, you put a B of course that's bottom and uh, D is left. So if I wanted to have this as this start over here, I could just put right. Um, not a big deal, right? So uh, just wanted to kind of highlight the uh, the fact of a macro and how we use it. Uh, and the reason we do it to uh, abort is basically to clear all the, just in case you had any kind of something already up there, or um, a refresh like down here, like what's being called for the refresh. Uh, basically, you can. Uh, I believe it's. So we edit. Maybe VBA code. <clears throat> so we won't we won't really get into that uh, on this. We won't really get into the VBA code or anything like that on this one. Just wanted to kind of highlight the fact of uh, the macro and how to use a macro in the startup. So hopefully that helped, and uh, if you're curious about, you know, wanting to know more about stuff like that, um, or even the client keys that we, you know, I, I kind of glad we didn't get into. It would have took a little bit longer, but um, I can make one on that if you'd like. Just uh, leave me a comment below um, if you'd like to see something more of that nature, or you know, as far as client keys, uh, macros, or just the way to use different elements. Um, you know, as far as that goes, just uh, leave me a comment below, and I'll be glad to do so. So again, I thank you for your time, and uh, we're past the 15 minute mark, so I'll just go ahead and close the, wrap this thing up, and uh, and hopefully uh, we'll produce some more videos, and if you have any ideas, uh, just go ahead and shoot them to me, and I'll go ahead and uh, make a, try to make a video on it. Okay, thank you.